Welcome back to another Unturned video. In today's epic video, we're going to go on an Elver server, and in my 8,000 hours, we're going to get my most intense and best track storages I have ever done. We are literally going to go as a player with barely any loot against a sack, six man team fully geared with thick loads, high tier PvP weapons, and a lot of useful loot. Dude, what, what the hell is this goofy gun? What the hell? If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to drop a like. Let's aim for 500 likes. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to reach 40,000 by the end of this year. Last video, I announced a mythical giveaway. And this is the winner. If you're watching this and want to claim your prize, make sure to join my Discord at discord.gg slash LDG and contact me over there. Today we're going through another mythical giveaway, which is an enchanted feather hat. To win this, make sure you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. If you are a channel member, you have a higher chance of winning. Also, I would like to mention that I am doing a thin mythical giveaway as well. If you guys would like to win one, make sure to check out the link in the description below. You can win some nice mythicals, including an atomic kitsune mask, and let's dive straight into the video. Alright, so I am in the server. There is literally a six-man team on. Nice. I have never played here. I'm actually going to call some of my friends to join. Because I don't think I would be able to take down a six-man team alone. Especially since I have absolutely nothing. But here on Alva, I haven't played there in a while. One of my favorite maps. And finally, there is a server with actually people on. Alright, so there is a kit. Let's check out it gives you... Okay, well, it only gives you a skill arc and some ammo. Alright, maybe we can do something with that. But first, I'm gonna loot them all. Maybe we can get ourselves a pog or a puck. Literally anything. No, I don't know how much loot this server has. Okay, yeah, it has a bit of high times loot. But yeah, we're going to try to destroy that six-man team. I think that's gonna be one of my main priorities. Maybe try to raid them if they have a base. Some of them are villains, so perhaps they actually do. But we're gonna try to build a base and we're gonna try to do full Elver progression. By that, I mean finishing the dead zone, getting all of the key cards. I don't know if we'll actually do the quests or any of that. I don't really think that's it's that important. Yeah, I'm all going to invite some of my clan members to join. We gotta destroy this group, man. God knows what kind of loot they have. And they've been on for hours, by the way. So they are definitely fully geared. All right, after we finish looting them all, we'll probably head to Junction 67. Maybe over there, there's a mega zombie. Those guys can drop some pretty good loot, including some backpacks, maybe mesh. Yeah, I'm gonna check out the mall, especially in the shop where it can give you pretty good loot. Yeah, there's reflections over here. I'm not gonna take it though, I don't really like that gun. But I'm gonna put it in vault, just in case if my teammates do join. Yeah, let's check out game start. Oh, graphics card already, perfect. Telescope, don't really need that though right now. I'll put the graphics card in vault. The vault isn't that big, it's pretty small. Loot just respawned. Oh, you phone. Perfect. All right, that's going straight in vault as well. Uh, there's another. Oh, there's another you phone. Two U phones. Lovely. Yeah, straight in vault. All right, we got ourselves some more clothes. We could just salvage them, make some more bandages. Before we continue, I would like to shout out today's sponsor, Lucky RP. Let's go back in time in 2017, the days where Uncern roleplay was one of the most entertaining content to watch. There was a man named Lucky Gamer and called Netic. These two were big time Uncern roleplayers, and they both saw the hypocrisy of a server they played and decided they wanted to make a point, but no one supported them. Fast forward 5 years and that server still ran up until June 30th, 2023. Lucky Gamer realized he was a short amount of time left and decided to pull the trigger on a new simplistic server, a server to remind people on why roleplay was fun. Let me introduce you to Lucky's roleplay. Play, the rerunning of why LVR lasted 5 years. Join and become a part of the community. The well known LVR podcast will be returning for a 10th episode here, and I will be in it. Make sure to join now, the links will be in the description below. Alright, this dude dropped nothing that good, just some ammo. Maybe from here we can get a blowtorch, which is actually really, really important, but no. Yeah, let's just break the glass and let's go start looking for these guys. We're gonna go with a skill arc, man, I don't even care. Alright, well, I hear shots over a junction, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, I think that's Moscow. Um, yeah, this is a teammate behind me. He's not even in the group yet. I invited him. Oh, rebel shots. Okay, now this can either go really wet or really bad. Because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be one of the six-man team or something. Yeah, I don't know where they shot Liam, from. Are you gonna invite us to group? Yeah, 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 I invited you. Yeah. There's a guy on the tower going up, yeah. I don't think we can hit him from here, though. Oh, he may have saw us, actually. I'm, yeah, I'm getting shot at by the rebel. I'm gonna die already. Alright, let's just go a bit to the side and med up because I'm very, very low. I think my team... I don't know if he died. Oh, no, no, he's still here. He's one right there. Hit him. Oh, he has a Mosca. Was only, oh, no, it's a Pandaculator. Headshot. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my God, yeah, he's full geared. This is not the Rebel guy. Where's another one? Hit him. Behind me. Hit him again. There's another dude there. Oh, he's dead. All right, I need to just... Go over to this guy's loot and just vault it, man. I don't even care. He has a golden pendiculator. Gunpowder, Mosca. Bro, respirator. Wait, I don't care about that right now. I'm getting shot at, but I'm just putting stuff in vault. Alright, he's dead. There's another dude. 
And these are just naked. Still getting shots at. There's still more, there's still more. It is another full geared. Oh my god, Rebel 2 Moscas. Full thick. He has a blowtorch as well. I'm gonna use the Rebel. I gave him a Mosca, there you go. Let's take the blowtorch. Bro, we killed like two full gear. There's another guy there. He's dead. Yeah, yeah, I got him, I got him. There's still more. Mosca shots. Let's loot this guy. I don't know if he's uh, somebody that we already killed. Oh right, yeah, some of my teammates are joining. Let's invite them. Oh, this guy only had a wisp. Yo, take that gun, bro. Take some ammo. Oh, they're... Yeah, they're here. I missed. My teammate is dead. Yeah, it's another one of the... Hit him once. Alright, I should push with the Mosca then. Wait, is he right over here? I missed. Oh, there's two of them. I hit one. Hit him again. He's dead. Bro, this is insane. I can't believe we're killing- This is another full geared, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think my teammates killed the other guy then. Let's check out what loot he has. Yeah, fully decked out Mosca. Come here, come here, bro. I'm gonna give him some... Wait, actually, you know what? Maybe I could vault. No, alright, he took it. There's a lot of shots going on around here. There's even more people. I don't know where they are, though. Bro, we're literally all four geared. There's guys there. Hit him. I missed. Oh, he's another one of the full geared. Alright, let's push him from the side. Oh, there's somebody close, Mosca. Oh, I hit him. I'm gonna die. I'm very low. Yeah, I'm dead. Alright, let's TPA back. Bro, I can't believe that we're getting all of this loot, though. Hopefully, we, uh, my team doesn't all die instantly. Yeah, I still have guns in my vault. Alright, yeah, I'm back. I need to go get my loot. Oh, he's right over there. Wait, I could take a gun out. Let's take the most- Oh, this has barely no ammo. Let's put it back. Golden Bendiculator, then. I think my team killed them, though. Yeah, yeah, they killed them. Nice. He hasn't that much good loot. There's a filter, though, in the graphics card. Two filters. I need to go get my loot. There's even more filters. There's four filters here. Alright, putting them in vault. Oh, there's a lot of shots. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Yeah, I'm dead. There's two more full geared. I only had the pendiculator, man. I couldn't really do much. Alright, I am back. Yeah, these guys are still here, man. The guy has the pendiculator. Hit him. I don't think he's dead yet. Alright, he's dead. Another dude dead there. Another guy dead third guy dead jesus yeah, i think we just cleared the majority of them another guy dead as well all right so i really do think that we should just loot and get out of here because the majority yeah most of the loot is just actually here hopefully somebody actually looted uh, my first body yeah everyone let's just take loot and leave let's make sure we don't miss anything that good though and we gotta go build a base somewhere we do have drills so it shouldn't take us that long to build a base literally take all of the guns i got the full gas mask yeah, I got one too. I got seven filters. Another teammate got a gas mask. That's actually huge. I got one in my vault. We got so much loot. Yeah, let's leave. Let's leave. Let's leave. Let's go. All right, so we just found ourselves a base location. We're not going to build a small base since we're actually a pretty big group. But yeah, currently I'm playing with the LDG clan. I've mentioned this before, but if you guys would like to join, be a part of our group, then make sure to check out there. I'm going to have a Discord link in the description below. Basically, it's for people that just want to play together, meet new people, same time have a chance of being in the video. I think some of those guys actually rage quit the server, which is kind of funny. Yeah, there's a lot of logs here. Some of us, some of us are chopping down trees, some of us are just building. So we're gonna have a base up in just a few minutes, man. We need to have beds for everyone as well. Later on, we'll probably just make it into full metal as well. Yeah, we should actually have more than enough to finish the whole base. I'm gonna make a bunch of walls now. Now probably our next step is we're gonna have to go get all of the key cards. We already got ourselves a gas masks and a bunch of filters already. So pretty much the progression is almost already done. But today we'll try to find ourselves one of the biggest bases on the server and we should definitely try to raid it. We already got gunpowder. But yeah, we will still need to get ourselves the heat wave. Uh, maybe get ourselves uh, some charges as well. I placed this roof incorrectly. Alright, later on we'll probably do ourselves a second floor as well, but for now, let's not really focus on that. I think we ran out of wood. I think we need to go get more actually. Get ourselves some radios as well. Let's put that right over there. Yeah, I did pick up some junk, some stuff that we don't really need. Alright, so base is technically done. We have placed all of the items that we don't want to lose. And we're gonna start probably spreading around the map trying to get loot. Maybe trying to find people to PvP. 
server popped up as well, there's a lot more players than before. Because I do think that if we focus on killing players, then they would probably rage quit. After rage quitting, we would have the server all for ourselves, and we could basically do whatever we want. And plus, if we do kill players, then we would get all of their loot, which is the easiest way to get loot. And since we're a big group, nobody can really stand in our way. And there's a mega zombie. Let's take him down. Uh, he is dead. Let's kill the zombies. Uh, and he has some mesh, some tusks, a bunch of high kill. High kill is always good. A bunch of grenades. Uh, I'm taking all of those vests and helmets so that we can salvage them and make them into metal. So that we can make some lockers in base. And yeah, we should get a uh, quite a ton now. We could make them all into cans for more storage. Now later on, obviously, we will be a smaller group because some people start to leave. Yeah, my teammates killed somebody. He was just hiding up there. We got ourselves a bus. Alright, so I did make myself a bunch of lockers with all of those cans that I got from the vests. Did salvage a bunch of knives as well. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. I need to salvage them because half of them are in the wall. Maybe they could be seen from outside, which is bad because people would know where to raid. Yeah, that looks much better. Alright, so I also made myself a metal wall. At some point, we do need to upgrade the full base. Maybe not to make it full crystallized though, but definitely full metal. Yeah, so my team are gonna be chilling in base. I think one of us wants to farm. Let him farm. I mean, we do need food at the end of the day anyway. Maybe somebody else will continue to upgrade base. There's a guy climbing. To the tower, whatever. I oh, had a valentine, some ammo. And we'll obviously take the guns. We do need a lot of guns since we're a big group. Just in case some of us die. Those we're all spreading around. I think there's somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another dude dead. Alright, there you go, bro. I think he's gonna make lockers or something. Alright, I think that was one of my teammates. Load, there's thick clothes. There's another guy on the building. There's multiple people, yeah. Yeah, this six-man team that currently is, like, I think a four-man team right now, telling us to come to the mall because I they're, they're trying to kill us, I think. Yeah, one of them is dead. There's definitely more, though. Yeah, there's somebody sniping. There's people on top. Hit him once. Hit him again. Oh, he's low. I'm low as well, though. I'm gonna push a bit. Oh, nice, nice. My teammate killed him. Yeah, another full thick outfit, a bunch of ammo. There's more people coming, though. I sped up really quickly. Yeah, he hit him once. Killed one, there's another dude though. I don't think he had anything. He's running away. He's dead. Anything good? Yeah, Mosca. Bro, these guys are geared, man. They keep coming back with Moscas. We're literally bankrupting the six-man team. There's a guy there. He's dead. He had a shotgun. I think there's more though. He's right over there. Dead as well. This dude had a pendiculator. Right, I'm gonna take it just in case one of my teammate wants it. And just so that it's not on the ground so a random wouldn't just come and kill one of us and take his loot. Oh, well, I think it's safe to say we're dominating. Yeah, we are a pretty big group. I don't think I ever... There's another guy there. Hit him once. Hit him again. Yeah, he's dead. But yeah, I don't think I've ever recorded a video with, with this big of a group. There's more people. I killed him. Oh, nice. Okay, Silver killed him. Oh, right, yeah, my teammate got... A airdrop, he got this big gun. Okay. Dude, what, what the hell is this goofy uh, gun? What the hell? But yeah, this server does have... Uh, this is a clan-friendly server, so that means that there's gonna be a lot of clans and groups in the server. Big groups, like with one we've already found. Alright, so probably... I think we've cleared out most people. So I think it's a good idea to start focusing... Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, it's time to probably start focusing on getting the key cards. Oh yeah, sure. Thank you. But yeah, in this video, we will probably not stop until I get myself a decent trade. Try to get ourselves a couple of tanks, maybe a helicopter. I want to be the biggest and most stacked group on the server. There's a guy here. He's dead. Bro, I'm not even looting them. I'm just killing, letting my team loot. But that guy seemed like he actually had some gear. He seems stacked. He has Mosca, a bunch of clothes. I don't know why he has this much clothes. There's a lot of dead bodies here. Alright, so the PvP did calm down a little bit. As soon as I say that, I start hearing shots. But for, we're focusing on getting the key cards next. So that we can do a couple of dead zone runs. And hope we get raiding gear. I mean, this peep, there's still a lot of people on the server. There's still a 4-man team and a 3-man team, which they were actually teaming. I think they were trying to take us both down. They literally became a 7-man. Obviously, they failed. Alright, red key card has been obtained. Let's go. Now, I only need the last two, which is the Tunnel and the Helicopter Crash. 
Alright, so we're very close to the helicopter crash and we found ourselves a base that we can raid later on. There was a billion dragon fruit and carrots outside. Obviously, we yoinked them all. We're gonna start our own farm. We'll come later to raid this. It seems it's quite promising. But for now, let's focus on what we actually need to do, which is going to a dead zone run. Alright, boys, back in base. We salvaged one of the floors so that we can do the farm inside. But this is how our base is looking. So now we have a wall of lockers. A bunch of beds, eight beds in total. Now some of us already did start to leave, or some of us are AFK. So our group is going to get smaller by time, which is completely fine. The most important thing is that we did dominate everyone in terms of PvP. And as we get completely crushed by another 10-man team coming on later. Alright, let's put all of the food inside these. We also have a bunch of military radios, man. So maybe we can actually do like horde beacons and all of that later. I think that would be a good idea. And since we will all be there, that would be probably one of the best ever horde beacons ever done. Alright, so it's gonna be our first dead zone run. I'm not gonna be in there solo. There's another guy coming in with me. So we're gonna be a duo. Which is pretty good. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Oh, there was a guy there. He's dead. But I didn't even see him. I think he was hiding in the loot. Now oh, it's TPA back. Hopefully my loot is still there. Actually, it's not all yoinked. Oh, yeah, we're back. This guy had some loot. He had the mesh. Three blunt forces. Three shotguns. Damn. Yeah, these are all of my loot. Let's take the filters. That's what it's important. All right, so since we're going to be multiple people in there, I think we're going to split the rooms. He's going to loot certain rooms. I'm going to loot certain others. So I think he's in blue right now. So I'm going to go purple red and the one next to purple i don't know which one it is i think it's white you know we skip all of the zombies we don't need to kill them they don't drop anything good all right let's hope for good loot tank shell nice blow search we don't need that 100 high cal that's brilliant oh, another 100 yo 200 high cal let's go it right, looks like a bunch of ammo in here nothing that insane though i swear if we get a heat wave i would be so happy all right let's take some attachments raider stock that's huge let's take the fully decked out pog since we're a big group, I'm gonna take all of the guns I can find. Alright, defibrillator, battery, graphics card. We do need these because we don't have any gyros or any of that. Another defibrillator, battery. Oh, we have our U phones, which are still pretty good. Let's check out purple, jackhammer, tape, another gyro. Alright, since we got ourselves a drill, maybe I can get myself... There's a comp out there, lovely. Yeah, uh, we could get ourselves some of the magenta crystals so that we start to crystallize some of our base. And we can always do that. Another gyroscope that's huge. Wait, I can't do the jump. Alright, there we go. Okay, that dropped way too much. I thought it was gonna drop way less. I'll just take as much as possible. We could put some in our vault as well. Oh, we did get a ton. Let's check out the red room next. Oh, my teammate just got from there. Oh, let's run away before the zombies actually kill us. I do think that in the server stuff respawns quickly. So hopefully... Yeah, there's a bunch of clothes. In here there is components. Okay, that's huge. That's actually really, really good. Uh, other components here, what? Okay, let's take that. Let's take the defibrillator battery. And we're gonna have to drop some of the pendiculator drums. There's a detonator in here. We already have one, though. Another component. No, well, I think I finished my run. And we only used one filter. Let's just pop it for the next time. I right, saw so I'm back in base. Huge run. Got myself a big boy locker. And also made myself one of the crystallized normal lockers. Oh, my teammate salvaged it. Okay. I'm gonna put what I got over here. Rubber? I don't have any rubber. I don't have any. Rubber, then I can crystallize the big locker. Oh, nice. I don't think we have any more rubber, though. Oh, nice. That means we got ourselves a crystallized large locker. That's huge. Alright, so to make a charge, yeah, I just... I can make a charge. Alright, so I did manage to craft 3C4. Used all of the gunpowder that we had. One of our teammates did get one from the dead zone and I did get one as well. And then we had the one from the start of the PvP against that six-man team. So this 3C4, we can raid pretty much that metal base, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully there's no base health. Yo, what's up? Oh, heatwave. Ayo, what? Alright, so with all of this heatwave, we can actually... Alright, so we already have quite a ton of high kill. So that means, yeah, we should, we should raid anything we want, man. Oh, there's people around. He did not end. Okay. No more kid in Oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh, there's another guy. He's dead as well. Never mind, there was another kid in the tent. Yeah, he had some dragon fruit, bunch of guns. Nothing that good, though. Another guy there, he's dead. Oh, he's on here. Alright, let's destroy the bike. Why not? Alright, well, this guy had the, the big puck. He had a. Yeah. Big backpack. Oh, hi, Cal. Thank you. Wait, is that even... Oh, my God. This guy was geared. Damn. I didn't think he was this geared. 
Yeah, we can. We should go raided actually. My guy got a cheese door, insane loot. Yeah, that we're currently a six man team. Some of us did leave. There's somebody here. Yeah, he's dead. I'm gonna throw a grenade. Wait, is he dead? Yeah, he is. It's the same guy. Yeah, he came back with the skill eric. All right, so probably our next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a base trade. We're gonna go raid the metal base. That's the only base we found so now. We didn't find anything else. So hopefully it'll be a good one, hopefully it'll be a profit one, and hopefully it'll be like a 20-man group. Which I don't think is possible now, sir, to be honest. I'm getting shot at. He's behind the tree, it's the same guy over and over. He's so low. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Alright, he had the uh, bluster and the bow, okay. Alright boys, so we're here, led there. It's unclaimed, thankful. It's a pretty big base, man. Now, we're not all gonna be here. I think it's gonna be me and another dude that's gonna raid. No, it's gonna be a 3 -0. okay. Yeah, I forgot the detonator in base. I need to go get it, man. Alright, we're back. Hello, I forgot my detonator. Where the hell is it? We should have a couple, I'm pretty sure. If we don't have one... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, so one of us is upgrading base to full metal. While well, we're gonna go raid. My inventory is full, man. Just has a bunch of Haika. Yeah, we're here. Alright, so let's place it right over there. Let's go for some good loot, man. It's really all I want. Alright, one C4 is not enough. Yeah, it's metal. It should take two, if I remember correctly. Alright, second one. Alright, we're gonna be four man raiding. Yep, we're through. I already see a bunch of crates. Yeah, there's a lad there. A bunch of high cal. Jesus. We got so much heatwave ammo, man. There's a bunch of dragon fruit. Oh, this one has some pretty good loot. Another heatwave. Hey, oh, you guys can take that. There's another detonator. It's always good to have a backup detto. My god, this truly really is insane all right let's dump all of these sticks i don't need them this high cal for the heat wave is huge man we're already profiting we got another gamer joining us his name is james hello there all right you caught us literally in the middle of a raid i'm gonna give him full thick just from this base he doesn't have full thick but at least better than nothing all right so i think we should use a charge to go even lower it should be pretty well damaged yeah, let's put it right over there. All right, everybody back up. Take the detail out. Let's go somewhere safe. All right, watch out, watch out. Watch. James, come here. All right, let's go. So we are through and a bunch of crates already. Oh already a red rebel. Oh my god. Bro, there's so much. Right. Oh, there's some lockers. Let's destroy the dead. All right, now it's going to take us a while to raid them. A bunch of mesh. Oh my god, they have so much of that good gun. Bro, that's insane. Those worth like 7,500 from the safe zone. That's actually really good. We're gonna raid the crystallized locker next. Hopefully we get ourselves some good loot. Let's make it a bit quieter because it's a bit too loud. Also, we're noticing that most of the lockers are actually stronger. So I think there's higher barricade damage but not structure damage. It's kind of weird. It also did take me more shots to destroy the bed. Which does make sense now. So we're gonna have to probably take a while to actually raid. My we should have more than enough. We have a lot of high kill as well. Alright, finally bro, it looks like it wasn't even worth it. We got one cyan crystal and graphics card. Alright, let's raid these next. Hopefully it'll take much less. Yeah, everyone's raiding with a rebel and then there's me with a heat wave. Alright, we put another 100 shots into it. Broke. Nothing that insane bro, just fish man. It was a golden pendiculator as well. I think we're raiding separate lockers. Yeah, some of us are- Oh, this one broke and nothing good. Bro, the big crates have better loot than the lockers. How is that possible? All right, three fill. I think if we dip behind these windows, there's probably actually more loot. But on Albert, people have a tendency to do that. They put the big crates behind them. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. All right, they broke the locker. Hopefully, they got something good. All right, three fill. Yeah, we're through. Yeah, there is a crate. All right, well, God knows what's in there. I would love to know just what's in it. I don't even want it. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, the jackhammer amethyst is caught. A bunch of pillars. I'm pretty sure my teammates took all of the good loot anyway. Alright, let's raid this one next. There's an airdrop passing by as well. Obviously, we're not gonna go for it. Let's refill. Let's reload. I think a bunch of mesh though. I'm really happy with the mesh. Yep, another box. Anything good? Alright, they're raiding the next one. Yeah, this one is still busy. He got a fishing rod MK2. Nice. So, magenta crystals. Alright, well, okay. Well, some mesh. A bunch of missiles. I really, really want to know what they got, man. Right, let's raid this one next. Another box is out. We still have some more hike out, thankfully. We're gonna run out soon, though. Yeah, we're through. Alright, this one just there's a locker. That's it. There's still one more that we have to raid. 
Right, so hopefully in this one there's actually a crate and I can get to see what's inside. Alright, we're out. I am out actually. Yeah, they're raiding the locker. If I have any involved... Oh yeah, I still have one more Haika box. Lovely. Alright, let's reload. Alright, my teammate is giving me some Haika. Thank you, bro. Oh, there's somebody. What? Alright, he's dead. We, we almost got countered by one guy. Alright, well, I mean, he tried. Alright, so this guy died. He had a lot of loot. He has a lot of magenta crystals. He has a respirator. That's what he got from the raid then. Alright, after this one, we should be done. We should just take everything. Alright, and this one, there is a bunch of uh, buildables. A bunch of metal buildables. The vibrator battery. A uh, bunch of buildables, bro. Okay. You know, that's not that bad, to be honest. It could be much worse. Yeah, we're done with the raid. Pretty good raid. I really want to know what my team got. But I'm pretty sure that they got something insane anyway. I made myself a locker. These big pucks, if we salvage them, they give us a lot of metal, man. So we're gonna salvage them. But yeah, I'm gonna salvage as much items as possible for metal. I'm gonna make some more lockers. So my teammates actually did get quite a ton of good loot. They got a bunch of mesh. They got some gunpowder as well, which is pretty good. Other than that, then they got stuff like to make components. A bunch of high thick clothes, graphics cards. So I'm really happy with that trade. We got ourselves a bunch of crystals as well by the looks of it because we are crystallizing a lot of the base. I really wish that we can make ourselves a turret as well or a devastator. That would be insane. My teammates got a crystallized pillar from that trade. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. I'll put the crates over here for now. Maybe it's time that we can do the second floor as well. We got ourselves a bunch of tank shells. That's huge, man. All right, so we're gonna do a watermelon farm as well. So now just the planter. All right, so we're currently working on the second floor. We should already make it literally instantly metal. Now all of those lockers down there, then we'll salvage them and we'll move them upstairs. I want to do a loot room up here. I think that would be look pretty cool. Yeah, let's make ourselves another wall. Yeah, we need to get go. We need to go get more metal. It shouldn't be a problem though. There's a lot of loot on the floor, man. We need to do this quickly before stuff starts to despawn. There's literally mesh down here. Bunch of ammo. There's a bunch of junk we don't need though, so we'll just let them to despawn anyway. Alright, so we've technically honeycombed all of it. Now I do think that we should move all of the loot to one of the rooms that I did at the sides. Oh, thank you. Alright, he got a room key. Lovely, man. I think you can get attachments from this one. It. Okay, okay, thank you, bro. Oh, nice! Yo, a heart beacon! Okay, well, that's something that we definitely need to do at some point, actually, yeah. Where's the mega zombie? If he drops high cal, then it's really good. And he's dead. Any high cal? Yeah, bunch. Bunch of mesh, though. I'll take those. A bunch of nades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go deeper. Alright, so our next step is we're going to go do a horde beacon. I made some more lockers. Now, my teammate did move all of the lockers into a separate loot room. This is just another loot room over here. Now, I did take a bunch of shotgun ammo. I farmed the, the prison for it. But we're not going to all do the horde beacon. We're gonna be like a two or three man team. And the rest are just gonna cover make sure we don't get countered. Because it will be just be too OP and we wouldn't even be able to finish it. We do have a lot of ammo though. The rest will cover. It's a pretty good idea, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna put all of the items that we got here. And hopefully we will actually manage to finish it. Because I'm kind of scared that we will not be able to. Because the zombies will be too strong. Oh, well, there are people. My teammate is whispering. I'm gonna try to counter them. They're doing a horde. I'm gonna accept every TPA, man. Alright, so we're four right now. I don't know if this could be the six man. Which currently aren't six anyway. I think they're four. Alright, I see one. We need to push it. We need either wait for them to finish the horde. Oh no, a zombie just spawned. Yeah, they probably know about us now then since we shot. Bro, the timing of that spawn was unbelievable as well. There's still more zombies. I spit on the stairs, so that means that somebody is camping on them. Another one spawned. Yeah, one of them just dropped. Alright, I binded some grenades just in case. I think we should push him actually. Yeah, one, the mega zombie is there. We should try to kill him. Oh, my teammates just started shooting. Oh, no. I'm not sure. A grenade. Probably a waste. Or is the mega zombie? Yeah, that was a huge waste. This guy right here. Right, he's dead. There's a lot of loot. They did more than one horde. Alright, one of my teammates should just take that. Let's med up. I already saw a lot of high kill. Yeah, he's at the top with the rebel. Oh, no. We can't even... We can't even go up. Yeah, the horde beacons are up there. Alright, this is actually terrible. We can take some of the loot. Alright, well, we see the claim flags, but there's like 10 of them. It's all claimed. They're probably gonna place even more. And since there's barricade damage, it's probably gonna take so much to break them. Bro, somebody's blasting music. 
He's trying to kill us with shotguns. Yeah, he's dead. Maybe what we can do is try to raid the floors with the heat wave. I do have a heat wave uh, in my vault, and we did got, just get some ammo from the bottom from the previous horse that they did. So I think that would be a good idea. And one of them just jumped off. Yeah, he's dead. And the horde isn't even finished, by the way. So we're trying not to finish it until they are still up there, or else they would just probably take the loot and dip. Because we do need that horde beacon loot, man. Alright, so the claim flex should uh, all be broken now. Now, the thing is, they actually left. Oh no, there's so much more claim flex. Let's just break them anyway, really quickly. But those guys literally just left the horde beacons alone. They didn't want to lose whatever loot they had, so I assume they had more horde beacons ready. Oh, we just got ourselves two easy hordes, man. There's literally two of them on top of each other. I still need to go get more wood, I think, because I only have leathers. So I'm gonna do that really quickly, and then we'll just build up. Now, I still have my horde in my vault, by the way. There's literally a sauce on the floor here somehow. So we're gonna have to do three hordes, two of them, which is theirs, and then our third one. It's gonna be insane loot, man. I'm so happy. I don't think I've ever countered a, a double horde beacon, man. Those guys got very mad as well. To be honest, I don't really blame them. Alright, so I just gotta place some roofs. There we go. Alright, now we're just gonna finish these hordes. Oh, it popped. Let's go. Anything good? Oh yeah, three gunpowder. Four gunpowder. Hi, Kel. Alright, that's a very good horde. Yeah, the other horde spawned as well. Alright, let's do the second one next. Hopefully we'll get ourselves some pretty good loot from the second one. This one was really good though. I probably should depot actually. Alright, so I'm in base currently depoting all of the loot that we got. Somebody shooting rebel very close to our base. One of us is here though. Bro, we did insane progression today, man. I'm really, really happy with today's video. But we're gonna go finish the two hordes next. Alright, so second horde is done. I didn't I didn't get to see what was in it, but my teammates did. Hopefully they got something, but they're gonna go depot. And we're gonna place the uh, third horde beacon now, the third and final one. Hopefully we'll get some good loot. Alright, so the third horde is done as well. My teammates did also pick the majority of the loot. But this was like a seven-man horde. So I'm really, really happy with this loot as well. We're gonna depot next. We got... We're, we're pretty much the richest group on the server, man. We are 100% the richest group. Well, alright, everybody, that's going to be it for this video after that. Then we did continue to loot around. Try to find some base trades. Unfortunately, we didn't find any. We did get ourselves a tank though, which was pretty epic, but there was nothing else to trade. So I hope that you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to the LDG clan for helping me with this video. And if you guys do want to join the clan again, there will be a Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!